How's it going, you guys? AC Plyo 21 back again with another episode of our UFC Save in WMMA 5. And here today we have UFC Fight Night Spencer versus Holm, a featherweight main event here today between Felicia Spencer and Holly Holm. Felicia Spencer putting on a very good performance against Amanda Nunes for the featherweight title. A split decision did not go her way, and she faces off with the uh, future legend Holly Holm. Home in her own right, coming off a win over Irene Aldana. And uh, the featherweight division starting to come into its own here. Um, and we'll see, because if Holly Holm wins over Spencer, we're probably going to have her fight Amanda Nunes for the title next. Spencer might fight her if she wins either way anyways, so we're going to have to see. But it's a pretty good fight card we have here tonight. We are making our way towards UFC 289, Till versus Costa. Two title fights on that card. As we get closer towards UFC 300, that's going to be insane. Let's go ahead and get this one going. In Kentucky, getting started with the prelims, of course, for Spencer versus Holm. It's Tim Elliott taking on Joey the KO King Gomez in the Bantamweight division as Tim Elliott gets the win in a fantastic fight via rear naked choke and calls out Jack Shore. Moving on, Hayato Suzuki taking on Demarion Cunningham in the flyweight division. Suzuki, 28 fight veteran, and he wins via guillotine over Demarion Cunningham here today despite being the underdog. Da Eun Jung taking on Timo Feet, Feet, Fucked, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Korean, an underdog, and loses to Timo Fucked here today. The German gets his 10th win of his career. Kennedy and Zek Shukwu taking on Ray Sloan in the light heavyweight division. And it is Kennedy who gets the win in a great fight. TKO in round number one. Paul Bearjew Craig taking on Abdul Karim Edeloff in the light heavyweight division. Edeloff 20 and 6. Paul Craig 14, 6 and 1. And it is the Chechnyan Lion getting the split decision victory here today on the prelims. And he wants to fight Bruno Silva. Adam Yandiev taking on Jared the Killer Gorilla Cannoneer. And Cannoneer has not had a good time in this save. One, two, three, four, five straight losses for him. Not having a good one. Facing off with the tough opponent in Adam Yandiev. And Yandiev TKO's Cannoneer in the first round. That's gonna be it for Jared Cannoneer, unfortunately. We're gonna have to be letting him go here. Uh, Nasi Mienzo. Taking on Smilino Rama. Nascimento recently signed a contract with another promotion. He kind of just slipped under me. So I'm kind of hoping that Rama wins here. He's 1-2-1 in the UFC now. The thing is, normally Rama does pretty well in saves. And he's not doing very well at all here. Um, but Smilino Rama sends Rodrigo Nascimento out of the UFC with a win here today. 15-7-2 now is his record and Kind of thankfully, uh, not letting a guy leave the UFC with a win. Uh, Simon Bayor taking on Brendan Schaub in the heavyweight division. Schaub, 40 years of age on the prelims. He's still pretty popular, low-level national, but it's looking like we're going to be cutting him if he can't get the job done here today, and he definitely does not. Split decision for Simon Bayor here today. And Schaub retires, makes it a little bit easier on me. Surely he's going to go do some comedy elsewhere. And uh, go talk to Joe Rogan. My boy. He got gadooshed. Jonathan Wilson taking on Reiner DeRidler. DeRidder in the light heavyweight division. Pretty even fight between the two of them as DeRidder gets the win via TKO. The second win of his UFC career. Shamil Nikayev taking on Peter Barrett in the lightweight division. And it is Shamil Nakayev getting the win, still undefeated at 16-0-1, getting his UFC debut win here today. Alexander Volkov taking on Sergei Pavlovich in the first fight on the main card. Two fighters in the top 12 of the heavyweight division. Pavlovich 6-2 in his UFC career. And on the other side, Volkov is 7-4. And, and it's Sergei Pavlovich getting a TKO victory over Alexander Volkov here today. He is now 19-2, a very good start to his UFC career with losses only to Alistair Overeem and Alexander Emelianenko of all people. 
Moving on, Yadong Song taking on Kakeru Fuma in the Bantamweight division. Only 24 years of age, Kakeru Fuma, and making quite the climb. Patrick Serdan, Brett Johns, and then Cody Garbrandt, he defeated Song 19-9-1-1. And one. Looking like a phone number. And Song dispatches of Kakeru Fuma a TKO victory in round number one, getting his 20th victory of his career. Alex Perez now taking on Manel Cape in the flyweight division. This is a good fight, or at least looking like it, as Cape gets a unanimous decision victory over Alex Perez. Moving on, Gina Danger Mazzani taking on Pig Vomit Agliantina Bougie. Now, Bougie, uh, her UFC debut fight against Ronda Rousey, and she won via knockout. Very impressive. She takes on Gina Mazzani, number 13 in the division, coming off a win over Carol Hosa. And it is Pig Vomit Bougie who gets the win here today, improving to 8-0. She has no fight team. She is looking like a very good prospect in this Bantamweight division. Moving on, Thomas Narcoon taking on Vulcan Uzdemir in our co-main event. Uzdemir, number 8 in the division, coming off a win over Sam Alvey. And Thomas Narcoon, number 10 in the division, coming off a loss to Eon uh, Kutelaba. Before that, look at that win streak. My goodness. Should be a pretty good one here today. Uzdemir is the favorite and with good reason. He knocks out Thomas Narcoon in just 21 seconds. So Uzdemir trying to make that climb back to a title shot after losing to Reyes and Santos. We'll see what time has in store for Uzdemir. I don't know if win over Rousey is that big of a deal anymore. That's a very good point, unfortunately. As we arrive at our main event of the evening, Felicia Spencer and the preacher's daughter, Holly Holm. One of these two is a future Hall of Famer, and the other one is Holly Holm. All right, so Felicia Spencer, of course, I told you before the fight card started, went to a split decision with Amanda Nunes, a great fight. Honestly, I thought she might have won. Judges obviously didn't see it that way. Uh, the other way, Holly Holm, 41 years of age. This might be her final fight if she can't get a win here today. Coming off a win over Irene Aldana. And just when I say that, watch her win and then retire right when I'm about to offer him, right, right when I'm about to offer a title shot. It's our main event of the evening in the featherweight division. So excited to finally have decent featherweights up here in the division. Uh, combo fails to land. Spencer shoots in for a takedown and she gets it. Trying to get into side control. She tries to scramble. Spencer looking to shoot here. Crunching left hook. Spencer shooting in for another takedown and she gets it halfway through round number one. Couple punches from below. Not really much going on here. Uh, side control, final 60 seconds of round number one. Very interesting to see. Knee strike to the ribs. That's gotta hurt a lot. Can't imagine I'd be too fond of getting a knee to my ribs. Holm apparently won that round. Round two begins. Holm looking confident. Weak right hand. Left head kick. Uh-oh. That shook her. Brutal left hand, ladies and gentlemen. The winner by knockout, Holly Holm. If she doesn't retire here, she's fighting for the featherweight championship. Let's see. All right. Holly Holm did not retire. We have a new contender in the featherweight division, and her name is Holly Holm. Love to see that out of your fight card. Another contender rising up. Uh, let's go ahead and see. There was a fantastic fight. Yep, Tim Elliott and Joey Gomez to open the night. You love to see that. Uh, Uzdemir with a performance bonus. I see you, Song. Uh, yeah. Yadong Song gets a performance bonus as well. As always, we're going to update our rankings and take a look at what is next. Highest paid fighters, Holly Holm and Vulcan Uzdemir. Nice million dollar profit there. Appreciate you guys. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. I'm uploading a lot of these WMMA5 videos every single week. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm uh, super excited because in about a couple weeks, I'm going to be in Houston, Texas for UFC 262. I was recently in Jacksonville for UFC 261. I had the ability to watch Jorge Masvidal get knocked out by Kamara Usman. That was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah. A lot, of, uh, a lot of exciting things coming our way here. And 
I live in Arizona and they just announced that UFC 263 is going to be here in Arizona and that has Adesanya on the card. He's one of my favorite fighters. Hoping he can get a win over Vittori after losing to Blahovich. Kind of sucked seeing him have to lose like that. It is what it is, but uh, he's my boy. So we'll see what happens. But like I mentioned, appreciate you guys as always. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter so you can be a part of my live streams. Links are down in the description below. Come join me. Come be a part of the chat. Get involved in our little community. We're starting to grow here. A lot of fun to be had. Clidson de Abreu. Training injury, Johnny Arnie. Wonder what's uh what's up with him. Alrighty, let's see here. Let's go ahead and update our rankings. And uh, Sergey Pavlovich into the top five after beating Volkov. You can see one, two, three, four, five fight winning streak. Lewis and then Volkov. I'd, I'd say one more really good win, and he's probably in line for a title. Maybe, not sure. DeFries moves up to 10, Volkov all the way down to number 16. At heavyweight, Uzdemir into the top 5. Bader up to number 10, Narkoon down to 16, Ragazin in at number 25. Robert Whitaker back in the rankings at number 12 after his suspension is over. At welterweight, nothing going on. Lightweight, nothing going on. Nothing at featherweight, or, or I was going to say or bantamweight, but Song Yadong in at number 9. Fuma all the way down to 21. At flyweight, Perez drops down to number 7 after he loses to Manel Cape. How does it feel to know that you could have seen Israel versus Rob 2 live if Robert and Kelvin hadn't gone to a decision? I don't know. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's pretty interesting the fact that they're fighting in the exact same arena that, uh, that they were in before. Uh, so Cyborg moves up one spot. Spencer down to number 3. Holly Holm is our new featherweight contender. Uh, Bantamweight, Mazzani moves down to number 17. Bougie up into the top 10 after beating Mazzani. At flyweight, no movement. And at strawweight, no movement. So the next time that I see you guys will be for UFC Fight Night. Dos Santos versus Pazau. Junior Dos Santos taking on Marcos Rotario de Lima. In our main event there. I'm AZ Plow 21. You guys have a good rest of your day.